What's up, guys? So, it is now time for another edition of Shoe and Tell, Gabby. (laughs) (laughs) And for this one, what I'm thinking is, what is that one pair that you have that, you know, it's certainly not an everyday pair. And we talked about this before. I mean, you really can't have that many shoes or everyday pairs if you have like 300 or 400 in your collection. But, you know, that pair that you, you can wear it like a few times, but like the outfit has to be like right and pristine. And for me, I'm thinking like, OK, is it something formal? Is it right? But it's like it's something that, man, I can only break this out a few times. Um, I'm going to kick off with. Okay. The Air Jordan 6 DMPs. Ooh, okay. I'm, 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 sure, I'm sure you guys can see, right? The Defining Moments package. This is a, a retro of the sixes. Um, Tinker Hatfield was the designer of the original. Look at these soles, man. I love the soles on these things. Did it just get hot in here? These things, these things are fire, man. So here's my, my, my thing with these. Everyone, you see the gold accents everywhere, right? particularly on the heel. And then you get up close, you see it, right? The, the gold emboss right here on the tongue. And it's got the, the tag, of course, the Jordan brand tag, the gold army tag. Again, that is not a shoe. I'm just going to wear out on the street every day. In my mind, what I'm thinking is a nice tailored black suit, right? The pant hemmed just at the right level so I can show off a little bit of sock and to, to match the high the high top. I mean, that's, you know... That's a very specific outfit, right? Like, um, or I could do it with like, let's say, like a, a jog a, a jogger suit, but like not like your typical like old navy jogger suit, like uh, you know, so like a suit that has a jogger pants. Yes, exactly, exactly, a right? More formal. A little more mm-hmm. formal. I just see it as something a little bit more on occasion and it might be because of the gold accents right and again that is part of the defining moments package the original they re-released that in 06 i want to say as a combo package with the sixes and the 11s right as as one as one full package the defining moments package the sixes celebrated jordan's first championship with the bulls in 1991 and ticker hatfield of course the designer of that one and the 11s as he designed so many of the jordan shoes and it's there's something about them that really to me suggests these are something a little bit extra. And, you know, with Corona and everything going on, when am I going to go outside to rock something like that again? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, if you can rock them in the house and do hashtag house kick, tag foot locker, you could do that Ooh. and just show us that fit. You got to give the people what they want to ride. You know what I mean? So I put, but, on, put on the suit and do the whole thing in the house and just be like house kicks. Yeah. Flex for yourself. I dress for myself. I don't know about you. Like, you don't like my outfit? Bye. <laughs> I mean, I hope you like it because I dress pretty well, but you know, <laughs> otherwise, bye. But you, you, you wear kicks for yourself. I mean, and you're at your whole fit. It's about 100%. you. Yes. Yes. yes it's, it's, it's all about me. I'm half, I'm half Virgo, but I'm also half Leo right on the cusp. <laughs> so yeah, it, if I'm dressing a certain way, it is all about me for the fit. You know what I mean? And, if and really like it, cool. for fashion and shoes, isn't that really what it's about? Right. I mean, yeah, it'd be nice when people compliment you, but first and foremost, you're like, no, I, I feel and I know I look good in, this, in these joints, right? And that, and that's what you're going with. Absolutely. I mean, my athleisure game has been on point since way before Corona. Let me tell you. <laughs> now I just, I feel like I've been training for this moment my whole life, you know? So I'm all about that. But I think it's interesting because I like those kicks. And for me, those sixes, I could rock all the time because I wear a lot of black. Mm-hmm. And I like that the gold mm-hmm. is a pop of color. Like I love my Olympic fives for that reason because the big gold tongue adds kind of that accent piece that I could rock with a pair of leggings or a pair of joggers. Mm -hmm. But it's also interesting because usually when we debut sneakers and you guys know this probably about us already, I'm not a fan of white sneakers and Gerard does not usually like sneakers that are all black. And I think today we're going to flip the script (laughs) a little bit. We're going to show the yin and yang. And now we're showing the yang and the yin. So (laughs) the pair of sneakers that I would like to share for today's shoe and tell, this is how much I have them kept on ice. I got them in the box before the box, Gerard. Let me tell you. Listen, I feel you gotta, like I need some like music playing you, while I take them out. You got to protect them, man. You got to protect these joints. Oh, I mean, uh, climate control and everything up in here, you know? <laughs> so I'm going to show the box. Even the box is white. So you guys already know, love me some Jordans. Love me some 11s. Ooh, shout out to Jordan Brand. 
I bought these because I am the product of my Jewish mother, and I'm going to tell you why I say that. These were a women's exclusive launch. They came in extended sizes for the boys that wanted to flex them too. But these, I'm going to we're going to get up close for a second. Oh yeah, oh yeah. These are beautiful. When I saw these, I was like, I'm going to wear these to my wedding. And Wait. I say that I'm like my Jewish mother. Folks, because I can you can you just look at that really quick? Gabby didn't even put her hands on them. She just showed you the box and covered it. She don't want the natural oils that exist in our, in our hands to even touch those things. She's like, oh, absolutely not. <laughs> no, like I said, it is climate control in here. I don't want any humidity getting in the box. By the way. Nothing. I am saving these for the right moment. The whole idea about the oil, shout out to Chad Jones, a.k.a. Sneaker Galactus. Um, he talked to me about that. And he's someone we'll have as a guest on the show sure. soon. You want to talk about climate control, gloves, all the right. Listen, guys, Chad... <laughs> Make sure you follow Sneaker Galactus out there. He he's got some stuff. But anyway, continue. Your Jewish mother. I gotta cause... get the gloves out. <laughs> Let me put them on. I, I feel like next episode I'm gonna come with satin gloves because I'm a lady. Your, your Jewish... And I'm gonna use that for. <laughs> your, 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 your Jewish mom is concerned about your wedding day. That is that is her focus right now. I, I feel like that is the reason why she didn't float me down the river. You know what I mean? She's like, we have a girl. We can plan a wedding. Great, amazing. <laughs> And then my dad was like, yeah, she's not a boy, but we can still teach her sports, you know? <laughs> Welcome to the Rosenthal family. Love my family. Maybe we'll have them on as a guest. I don't know if you guys would be interested in that, but uh, they're, they're interesting. But um, so, yeah, so these are actually even, Gerard, I know you and I were talking about this offline. These come in an eight and a half, mm -hmm. which I think is interesting, too, because whenever people ask me my size in sneakers, I always say size seven, which is the equivalent because most sneakers are either in unisex, men's or boys. But these are a true women's shoe. And I, I saw them and I was like, the bling, the sparkle. This is a gorgeous shoe that I would rock with formal wear. But now that I put this beautiful, sparkly wedding cloud over these sneakers, like, how do I rock them? Like, do I wear an all-white fit? Like, I could I could go with some all-white jeans. All-white all, you know, all I mean, all jogger suit? No, I don't. I I need one of those. I feel like the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. If I was wearing an all white jogger suit, like I'm a curvy lady, and that's a little too dangerous for me. Down, yeah. But that's my problem. Is I have so many visions. Like I could do a cute little mini white dress. You know, once I get a little tan on my leg. Well, a, I mean, I summertime's coming. Um, perhaps she'll be invited to a summer white party somewhere. Maybe. I you could wear a white dress with those. What do you think? Call me Diddy. I'm ready. I'm <laughs> I mean, Diddy, of course, has one. Right? <laughs> I mean, he's, I mean, there's white parties all the time. He has one for sure. But, you know, that that may be one. No, we'll put feelers out there. See what's out in the streets. <laughs> so that's the hard part for me, too. And I, this is why I don't always wear a lot of white sneakers. Yeah. Because I don't want to get them dirty. The fact that I've not even touched them yet. Uh, they, they're on a pedestal in a halo in a cloud, you know, floating around above my head right now. I got to get over that. Yeah. 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 But I you know, like, I mean, I hear what you're saying in terms of styling it. <laughs> I just don't know if I can do it. I mean, I, I want to, I want to. <laughs> you, 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 you don't, you don't know do. if you don't know if that's an actual possibility for you. I don't trust myself. Someone spills a white claw on it. It's game over. Like, I will see red. Uh, white claw, please, folks. Can we stop with that? Oh, God. No, come on, come on. We're not. We're not doing that. I'm actually looking for something right now, and I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere in my in my collection over here. Those wipes that you mentioned, Jason Marks, right? Those are the ones that I sent you. That, yes, Gabby did send me some wipes. Because um, <laughs> listen, you guys know we talked about this. How we met the whole like all star thing. I didn't bring any shoes. I was like, it's snowing and there's precipitation. I'm not bringing these white kicks out here, y'all. Wowing? <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah get get yourself the right accessories guys that's how you protect because look i know that a lot of us it's not so much about dead stock it's about rocking them but at the same time you want to protect these investments right get the right mm -hmm. stuff clean them off let them breathe you know put shoe trees in your shoe whatever you got to do to keep them fresh that's what i'm a big fan of i mean i always whenever i get shoes these ones haven't been treated yet because i have not worn them but before i wear a pair of sneakers like Adidas had this really dope sale, 30% off superstars. Superstars never go on sale, <laughs> never. So of course I'm like, they're on sale. I need them. And I had just gotten rid of my older pair that had seen better days, but that's like the, my standard white sneaker. What did I do as soon as they got here? I sprayed them down with my crep protect spray. And what do I do whenever I take them out? 
I have at least, at least one Jason Mark wipe with me. And you're probably thinking, those are two different brands. Why is she mixing brands there? And I'm like, I love the Jason Mark wipes. They're the OG. When I clean my sneakers, I use Jason Mark. But the Crep Protect Spray, to me, I love it. I, I don't know if Jason Mark has a similar product. If they do, maybe I need to try it. No doubt. But I think if you have lots of forms of defense, you good. So rock those kicks. Love it. Guys, thank you so much for rocking with us. We are really, we're so happy with all the feedback we're getting from you all. It's been great. Uh, Facebook page is getting a ton of likes. YouTube subscribers are up. We are on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, SoundCloud, hey. Google. Yes, the audio version for those of you that can't tune in to video, which of course we hope you do also do that as well. We're just out here. We want you to follow us, of course, at Kicks and Shit Show on Twitter and on Instagram. And you see our handles right there below. We're so happy and we want to keep putting out awesome content for you. So uh, let us know in the comments what you like, what you want to see more of. We want to do more. We want to give the people what they want. I think I know where you're going with this, Gerard. I think you are trying to crowdsource asking if the people want a TikTok. Because <laughs> I, yeah, that's right. I said it. You have been offlining me about this for weeks. So, like, you know I'm going to do the TikTok challenge where I have to do my age in Jordan. Because that's the only way I will indirectly share my age. Because boys never ask a lady how old she is. Uh, unless it's in Jordan years. But... I don't know, Gerard. What do you think? Should we go TikTok? Listen, you know my thoughts about TikTok. It's so funny because I'm 41 years old. What the hell do I know about TikTok? All I <laughs> all, all I know is, listen, man, that's where the kids are. It's it's lit. Do the kids still say lit? Is that a thing? Uh, I think I think they actually say Liddy now. I don't think they say lit. But I just found it like Grandma Gabby over here. Being like, they say Liddy with the arm and everything. I don't know where that came from. I just I, I can't help it, man. <laughs> it's hilarious but you know tiktok just seems like such a fascinating place and yeah we're also on tiktok 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 guys so you yeah, can no, i think that's the answer right there <laughs> let's get on that tickety tock that, what is this hippity hop you guys are talking about right this is this is this is where we are right now but yeah guys we we might do a tiktok challenge so put it out there let us know what you want to see who knows listen we want to give you guys great content we love doing this we love talking to you guys about pop culture sneakers just everything. So thank you again for tuning in and we will see you guys all next week. Peace.